What's going on everyone? Uh, not bad. We'll work on it. <laughs> Video today featuring from Duster. Uh, uh, this is my girlfriend, <laughs> Kirsten, and I uh, figured this would be a good video to make. These are just five misconceptions that I feel like women think about when they're starting their fitness journeys or whatever the case may be. Just things that just kill me inside because I know all you out there are gonna have this question. Kirsten, you had, a, I'm sure, a ton of questions when you first started, right? Yes, I did. I figured it was good to have a woman's perspective, uh, just to kind of relate more to maybe something you're asking yourself or if any woman out there is looking to get into fitness, and I'll kind of throw my two cents in there because, I mean, it's my fucking channel, so I can do that, right? But I can do that. <laughs> is there something you wanted to say? Like, I'm really you want to add? That. Just follow your heart and say something. I personally think that Women need to understand and be very confident in themselves when beginning a new lifestyle or journey. Other people's goals or other people's figure are not going to be yours. You have to really understand that getting the small, tiny, itty bitty waist and the wide hips or big booty, as everyone is trying to do these days, is not something you should just strive for when you set your foot into a gym. So Kim what? K would be like a... <laughs> Bad role Discarded. model. No. <laughs> Pretty much just don't follow what other people or don't look at somebody and say, well, I want to look like that tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fair to say. First question or first misconception. Oh, the biggest thing and this one kills me is I don't want to lift weights because that's going to make me bulky. What's your perspective on this or have you had, is this the way you thought when you first started your fitness journey? Let's talk a little bit about that. I feel like every woman, every female is convinced or they believe that, yeah, if you lift, lift heavy weights, your body's just gonna balloon up and you're gonna get big biceps and shoulders and chest. What happened to me at first too, you know, starting off as an athlete, whatever, I needed to have some size, some mass. Yeah. So coming out of that and trying to figure out what I want my body to look like is when we have to think about, hey, is weights really for me? And women usually jump on the cardio first or stick to Pilates or yoga because it's it's more feminine. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Or women sh tend to shy away from big gyms, weights, you know, all that side of From fitness. the games, basically. You know, you walk in, you see guys dropping them and smashing them around. But they think they're going to become men. will not make you look like him. <laughs> well, I'm not even big. I could go on for days about this, but basically when a woman says, well, I don't want to lift weights, I'm going to get too bulky, my reaction is just, okay, listen, it's not physically possible. Women have 1 20th to 1 30th the amount of testosterone that a man has. No matter how hard you try, you will not ever look like a man. Even if you took steroids, still have trouble looking like a man. If that was the case, Please believe I would actually look like the Hulk right now. Guys, so do not shy away from the weights. Weights are very important for, you know, building muscle, of course. But it's actually something that your body needs to strengthen the bones as women, very important. Um, Increases your metabolism. Increase the metabolism. It actually makes you look more fit. One pound of muscle versus one pound of fat is completely different. So if you weigh 150 pounds and you're 10% body fat as opposed to 150 pounds at 20% body fat. The one with higher percent body fat is gonna look so much heavier and so much worse. Ladies, let's get rid of that misconception. Let's grab those dumbbells and let's get to work. <laughs> Move on to number two. What is uh, second most common? Misconception. Number two is how to reduce belly fat and flatten your stomach. This kind of goes for the whole fitness industry as a whole, like men and women, but women specifically, I feel like are always like, oh, I just need a flat stomach like her. I just need a flat stomach. <laughs> what, from what you understand, how do you go about making your stomach flatter? When it comes down to it, shedding weight, shedding pounds, is the only way you can technically get rid of that. For women, we think that doing, you know, hundreds of crunches a day, playing sit-ups, women think that it will literally shed all the fat off of your stomach. It's not actually going to give you that six-pack look. It's Shit. Did you tell me that I've been doing it wrong this whole time? 
Um, but yeah, so you need to, um, one thing is you can't spot reduced fat. So for example, the crunches, the planks, all that stuff that you mentioned, it's not going to take fat off of one area. The only way to take fat off of an area that you like is by removing fat entirely from your body. Genetics are going to determine where that fat comes off and when. Dieting and you know being consistent, staying strict, making sure you're healthy, doing the right things is going to help your stomach get flatter. Improving your body composition is going to lead to a flatter stomach. So don't go in there and kill yourself doing a thousand crunches as Kirsten mentioned, because that's really a waste of time. Uh, okay, so we'll move on to number three. How do I sculpt and tone? What is sculpting? <laughs> what is sculpting? What is tone? <laughs> An avid user of the word tone, by the way. No. <laughs> you were at one point, then I was like <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so as a former avid user of the word toner, a professional toner, if you will. What is your opinion on toning and sculpting now being in the industry a little bit more? The same way when we hear lifting weights. The word weights equates with big, strong men muscles. The same way sculpting and toning it sounds feminine. Well, I don't mean it like that. More like but sexy, I guess. It you sounds could say. sexy. It's a wrong word to use when you're working out because Sculpting and toning actually mean nothing. You have learned well. <laughs> what What is a typical sculpt well, and toning workout? my mom says she wants more depth or she wants to tone up her back. Okay. We say it because it sounds nice. Like, like, I feel like it's usually loose, light. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's light weights and you do it for like very high repetitions to the point where yep. you're not really feeling much and you think you're doing something, but in reality you're not. In other words, um, Use those words. In other words, lose those words. It's a whole concept of women having to train different than men too. That is not uh, necessary. Job. Yeah, just train hard, heavy, uh, obviously I good mean, form. And you'll just feel better. Like You'll feel stronger and you'll have more endorphins. That's what it's all about, right? Endorphins. And dates! And a big butt, apparently. Number four is not eating enough. Ladies, I think this is stop huge. it. You, stop it. Again, avid recreational self-torture. What do you have to say about not eating? What have you learned from not eating in the past and how it affects your workouts or how it affects the way your body looks, how the way you're feeling? I used to barely eat because I thought it would work. I thought I'd lose weight and not be fat. Now learning from, my, from Jonathan and my own experience, it's the opposite. It was detriment to my health. It prevented me from actually working out. Actually decreased and slowed down my metabolism. I was not replenishing my body with the nutrients to make the gains. Hey. <laughs> and put on size. Let me basically say, that, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Not eating is gonna decrease metabolism. Mentally, how'd you feel? Like Mentally, you'll feel terrible. You will have zero energy to work out. Not eating is gonna prevent you from getting to your goals. So keep that in mind and don't even think about it. Just throw that idea out the window, all right? Last one, this one's huge. If you stuck around for this part of the video, supplements. Should woman take supplements? Fit tea or what is it, slim tea, the waist trainers, protein powder, you know, same stuff that guys take. Creatine, by the way, if you wanna know more about creatine, just go ahead and click this link. Like, you better hurry on your point on this because I'm ready to blast off. We all see those Instagram models and... Oh yeah, the Instagram models. They're the culprits of this. We see them promoting women's best protein. We see them promoting tons of fit teas, vitamin gummies. We think this, no, I fucked up again. <laughs> Don't let this drag on for another 10 minutes. We think that, oh my, gee. we see that their body looks amazing and we think the product is amazing. However, that does not equate. They're either paid to sponsor it or never. Paid to sponsor it. Sponsored to promote it. <laughs> paid to sponsor it. <laughs> they are paid to sponsor these products. No. <laughs> they're, paid. they're paid to promote these products. And why should they not take them? <laughs> what? 
What do you have to give in order to get a slim tea? Money. Money. And what is the value of the slim tea? What is the slim tea doing for your results? Zero. Zero. Absolutely nothing. So when you see those Instagram models and fitness models promoting supplements, it's because they are paid to do it. Like you're paid to represent a company at your job if you're not self-employed, you're gonna do what that company wants you to do so you can make money. Very simple. Fit tea, slim tea, all that stuff is the same principle. All supplements in general. Waste trainers again, pretty big waste of money. Um, a lot of these things are placebo and, and it's as simple as posting one post. Slim tea, my slim tea this morning, so I look like this. No, false. They've been working their asses off for years. Weight training, as we mentioned. They've been eating. eating, yeah, eating properly. They haven't actually been taking the supplements, believe it or not. They probably don't take any supplements at all. I think that's pretty much it to conclude. It's just like. <laughs> I think that covers it. Yeah, I think that uh, about covers the five top misconceptions, however, if you know of any other misconceptions, go ahead and leave us a comment down below. We'll be sure to answer them for you, or at least I will uh, do my best. But I hope Kirsten coming on and showing you the women's perspective, her side of things, and her experiences with this has helped and has given you a little bit more insight. So remember, lift those damn weights. Don't ever come up to me, or anybody for that matter, and say sculpt and tone, unless you want to clap to the face. So eat food because that's what yeah. life is about. Just eat food because you need that to live. All those Instagram models out there. Yeah, I'm sure they're all nice though. Uh, anything you'd like to add? I think you said it all. Yeah, cool. Follow Kirsten on Instagram for some uh, motivation. If you're looking to help with your fitness goals, leave me a comment down below for anything else you'd like to see. Give this video a thumbs up. For the kids, cheers bud, see you never. So subscribe, you got your ultimate fitness hub right here. Subscribe for more content and all your fitness related content will be covered here. If you have any questions, message me, message her, anything you wanna know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm out. Oh my <laughs> God, I'm, I'm out. out.